Hello and welcome. If it is your first time here, hello again. If you are returning, welcome back. Last episode was explosive. Miguel and Robbie literally fought out their issues. Amanda learned more about Terry and Daniel's history from her cousin. And unfortunately, Daniel and Terry got into it and Daniel got badly hurt. It seems like this has united everyone. So I'm excited for this episode and hopefully the shenanigans is not too much. Who are these people? Sensei Kreese, not with you. I'm afraid John Kreese is no longer with Cobra Kai. That is disappointing to hear. Would people stop working with Terry if they knew what he did to Kreese? Because I'm assuming that they have some kind of relationship with Kreese, right? I wonder if all of them will go against him in the end. Limousines and private planes does not hold sway for me. That attitude is exactly why I wanted you to teach in my dojos. I need you to see which of my students are ready to take the next step. What's the next step? It makes me uncomfortable every time he talks about the future. Your grandfather didn't teach American soldiers the way of the fist, just to use on the battlefield. Oh, will Chosen be aware of her? Will she be recognizable to other senseis? We have to share his style with the world. And you think your American students are up to the task? I do. This is so ominous. <laughs> Shady business is being done all around. What are you doing here? What do you think, sir? You got beat. What's with the suit? I wear my pajamas to the Russo Auto, can I? Sir, you should not be going to work. Sit your butt down somewhere and relax. Heal your face. But I'm out of this whole thing with Silver, all right? If he wants the valley, he could have it. I'm done with Karate. Sir, it's too late. And now everyone is endangered. Trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Terry Silver was a mistake. It almost cost me my family. I'm not making that mistake again. Daniel, we're with you. Thank you. I sensei to help kids. I did help kids. Why don't you ask Robbie how much I've helped? Sir, you were just using terrible tactics. You have learned nothing, as I continue to say. I never understood why Miss Miyagi walked away from These are two life. different things. But I understand it now. Chris, your granddaughter's here. Your granddaughter? I feel like he really actually likes that. I feel like Kreese wishes he had children. Mr. LaRusso got really hurt because of us. Well, that's one enemy gone. You don't care about what happened to Mr. LaRusso? He was a means to an end. Is that what I am? Of course not. Ma'am, listen to your intuition. You should not trust him. Silver sucks on many, many levels. <laughs> but so is Kreese. He might be nice to you, but he is trash too. But I need you there for a little longer. I got a plan to get out of this place. You do? Actually, go to the LaRussos and tell them what's happening and just get away from Cobra Kai in general. You should not be here. So do whatever Silver says. Keep your eyes and your ears open if they'll slip. And that'll be the opening that we need. Yes, Sensei. You should not be asking her to do this. This is messed up. Why not call LaRusso and Johnny directly? <gasps> that was a fabulous kick, Devin. But remember, we're all friends here. I thought she fought perfectly. What Class. the heck? Gather round, please. Are they taking over this dojo Secretary too? Secretary Silver has made me a very generous offer. Sir, you don't know what you got yourself into, okay? You just got in bed with a gigantic snake. It is going to devour you. There will be some changes. I do have to say. All for the better. <laughs> the fit. Fantastic. The black and the red? It looks so good. <laughs> and silver. Kind of sexy. You'll be given a new sensei. Terry? This wasn't the deal we made at Shabbat services. Terrible person, but looks good. He's taking over other dojos now, too. I'm gonna go down there and beat his ponytail ass. You can't just march down there like a one-man army. Well, M.O. is hiding out in the dark, waiting for us to fall into his trap. Exactly, that's why y'all have to be smart. You're gonna beat somebody up in public. One-man army, not good. Thank you. I come with you. That's not what I meant. Poor Amanda. <laughs> She's stuck with three ridiculous maniacs who are making terrible decisions. I love the red ones. From here on out, these are my jellos. What do you think about that, old man? I think that's a fine idea. See you around, sensei. <laughs> I look forward to you getting your butt beat. I hate Chris, but I certainly hate you more. One thing that really surprised me was how easy it was to get along with all the other men. Not all prisoners your age have the same experience. All I'm made of stronger stuff. You could throw me right through a window and... Literally. Emotionally speaking. Nah. <laughs> of course. You know what I do hate about Chris? He is very charming. Thanks, Doc. 
I really enjoy our time together. You're not just sweet talking me to get you a good recommendation, are you? He is. That's what he's literally doing. He's gonna get it through you, or he's gonna bust out. Never trust this man. I just find these sessions so very helpful. Oh, please. Keep walking. Or you'll break your hand if you hit someone like that. You know what I'm doing. Then hit me. You have to keep the side of your hand sharp like a knife. Better. You and Tori should be friends. Both of you are very fiery and intense, but y'all seem like y'all care. Get out of Cobra Kai together. Why are you still in that game? You don't think you have what it takes to join Cobra Kai? Maybe she doesn't want to join Cobra Kai. Yeah, I guess you forgot who kicked your ass at the tournament. That ref was blind. He gave you a point when I was out of bounds. Thank you. And you should not go around telling people that you won or you beat them, Tori. All of your victories are tainted. Why are you still here? My mom always said... Is she gone? Or is it like Tori's situation? And are you in a similar situation as Tori? The only way you really lose is by giving up. Sounds like a smart woman. She was. Oh, sorry. Sorry, babe. You didn't do anything. You have to take all that anger and you have to put it in your fist. Wrong. Deal with your anger and your sadness and do not let it ruin your life like it has done to pretty much everyone in Cobra Kai. You have used your strengths to train each other. Now, you will use your strengths against each other. You didn't have to come. I can handle this myself. I'm not likely super, very dangerous. But I'm ready for him this time, and I can be dangerous too. The three of you are high heads, and you're dangerous, and you're not thinking. Somebody needs to use their brain here, and it's not the three of you. Did he mention how I kicked his ass back in high school? I robbed him while he was on <laughs> date. I pushed him down a cliff. I fight him to really death. Y'all really don't have to compete. Both of you were terrible to Daniel and a complete dickbag for no reason whatsoever. Daniel-san showed me mercy. Sounds like LaRusso. Always fight for what he believes. That's why all three of you should sit down and come up with a strategy. Actually include the kids. They know things too. What the hell? Boy, what are you doing? One of my students is not here for student. This is a terrible decision. Y'all should not be here at all. Disaster waiting to happen. Got a letter for you. Is it the state saying that he cannot get out? I hope old girl watches her back. Priest will not have a problem with kicking her through a window. I put nothing past that man. You're recommending against my petition for early release. I, I thought we were making great strides. I know the difference between a breakthrough and saying what I want to hear. You're not the first prisoner that she had to work with, sir. You can't BS your way out of this one. If you want to get out early, you really need to think about why you're here in the first place. I'm free all tomorrow morning if you'd like to chat. I feel bad for her. You're in danger, ma'am. <laughs> Chris is dangerous and he will take anybody and everybody out to get to what he wants. Pick this up. Stop her. Use any means necessary. Shut up! In your face! The way of the fist means you do not hold back. You do not go easy. She's not going easy. She just doesn't want to hurt a fellow student. Y'all are being ridiculous. Ooh. Hard on. Terrible. Cobra Kai sucks, man. Oh my god. Jeez, what the heck? Both of y'all need to get out of here. She seems more insane than Terry and Chris. Everyone has lost their ever-loving minds. Do not accept defeat. You do not accept surrender. Your fight is if today is your last. They're not in the middle of a war. This is why the Cobra Kai kids end up the way that they do. You can't punch and kick everything. Oh. Terrible influence on everybody. Devin, leave these people. Strength, determination. That is the way of the fist. Shut up! Girl, this is the best thing that could ever happen to you. <laughs> you are lucky. Get out of Cobra Kai. They're going down anyways. You're sitting here sulking like a kid who got in trouble in class. What do you want me to do? Cry into a tissue? If you need to, feel your feelings, sir, and deal with your problem. Stop being a weirdo. I'm here to help. I believe that deep down, you're a good man. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> He has a capacity to be a decent person, but he is not a good person. He's kind of a dick. I think oh, something happened no. in the past. God dang it. I did lose someone. 
Who was she? The love of my life. Oh, don't make me feel bad for this man. I don't want to feel anything for him. Sorry to hear that, John. But her death allowed me to do what I had to do. Not dealing with her death ruined your life, and you in turn ruined the kids that you taught's lives. Whatever it took to save yourself. It was war. Oh, but that violence followed you home. It did. You taught kids how to fight. I taught them to be strong. You taught them to be terrible and oppress other people. To take the anger they feel and turn it into power. <laughs> <laughs> they actually pushed down their feelings just like you did. They didn't change it into powers. You actually made them worse. You feel angry, John? <gasps> At who? The people that put me in this cage. You did this to yourself. I did nothing wrong. You started all of this with Daniel in the first place. And you brought Silver back, which made everything much worse. A lot of this is your fault. Take some responsibility. What exactly am I supposed to feel regret for? Johnny should be one. All of the kids that you messed up. I wasn't trying to hurt anyone. Oh my God, baby Johnny. I was trying to make my students tough. You wanted them all to be like you. No. But you did. Your teachings were terrible. You ruined many lives. I wanted them all to be better than me. You did a terrible job, sir. I know you can be better than the person you've become. He's locked inside me. You just oh have to my find god. Him. That was fantastic. Those scenes were so good. I really like the transition. They're all talking to him. That was great. Where's Terry Silva? He's not what even here. Y'all need to leave. We have message. I'm gonna beat his ass. I don't think you can beat me. This is a terrible decision. Y'all should not be here at all. <laughs> The two of you are barely having an effect on this man. Just leave. Call it a day and get out of here before y'all actually get hurt too. Ooh. I have to say this is not honorable. It should be a one-on-one. -on -one. must be chosen Toguchi. Y'all need to get out of here. Run for your lives. Y'all shouldn't have even came here. Silva must answer for what he has done. You wish to fight? Chumbi! Too much advantage. Amanda needs to be in charge. She needs to come up with the plans because all three of you are ridiculous and you have not learned anything. I'm not gonna let you take over the valley. We already did. It ain't over until it's over, ma'am. I think you did. Never glow in the middle of anything. Make sure you finish it first. You could still lose. I thought you quit. I only lose if I give up. Why don't you go check in with the receptionist? She'll set you up with a pass in case you want to train after hours. Johnny and Chosen should have talked to her instead. That would have been a much better use of your time. Now you have lost another student. I wanted to see how much strength you had in your heart to accomplish what you need to do. And what's that? Something greater Does than he you could know? ever imagine. He has to have some kind of informants in there. It would be stupid for him not to get somebody in there. And I wonder if he thinks that he can turn Tori against Kreese. Chosen, you're still pretty new around here. And no offense, Johnny, but strategy isn't exactly your forte. You're more of a blemish tree. Thank you. <laughs> Why would you say thank you to that, Johnny? <laughs> that is not a good thing. You want to have some strategy, sir? What is wrong with you? If we're going to mount a resistance, we're gonna need Daniel to lead it. Whatever you heard him, he doesn't want to fight anymore. Go talk to your pops. Hey, Sensei. What is your problem? I'm here for my God. Today. Ears full of shit, old man. Yours is about to be. How the hell is this bag of bones in here for assault? I don't understand people. Why do you feel the need to make people's lives much worse? You deserve whatever is coming to you. Yes. Oh, our boy. <laughs> Ooh. God dang it, I hate this man so much. But also, I'm cheering for you. Kick all of their butts. They deserve it. Sir, you're about to ship some old dude? What a poop. From now on, you're gonna give me your job. You got a problem with that? No. First you were picking on an old man, and now you got beat up by one. Pathetic loser. 
Are all the kids here? And Chosen? And Johnny? Oh, this is Mr. Miyake's things. Oh. I do really like the fact that they give Mr. Miyagi so much reverence and honor. The night before we got married, I was so nervous. I came here to see Mr. Miyagi and talked about you. He loved you so much, mm. Daniel. You were the son that he never had, and he would not want you to back down in this situation. You will stand up to sober. You could be a bit of a handful sometimes, a but lot. you would always fight for what of you a handful. believed in. And what I believe in now is standing up to Terry Silver. Every time I try to fight for what's right, somebody gets hurt. Now you have everyone behind you. You needed to include everyone in the loop. And you can't just be a blunt instrument like Amanda said. Y'all have to have a strategy. I can't fail these kids again. You're not gonna fail them. You didn't fail me. Oh, you know, when you first met me, <laughs> our baby boy. You messed up kid. <laughs> you gave me a job in the home. I'm so glad that Robbie is back with us. And he's the perfect person to talk to Daniel. Jovi, I would. It's just trying to help me. No, I'm. I'm sorry. He knows now. He knows that you were trying to help him. You were trying to do what's best for him. We need to stop Cobra Kai. We can't do it without you. Sensei. Oh my god. Not everyone has someone like you. It's time that all of us join this fight. Everyone needs to be involved. And if you got everyone together and if you're united, you can actually take down Silver. You're not alone anymore. Oh, he's here too. What do you say, Dad? Oh, this was great. This was a fantastic episode. The bar is being elevated and the stakes are getting higher every episode. Priest's story was great emotionally and technically. Him speaking to all of the people that have had such a huge impact on his life, people that have pretty much made him the man that he is, and then his younger self telling him to find his inner good again was so beautiful. I don't know how they place young Johnny in there, but it was fantastic. I loved it. When it comes to his therapy, I doubt that it will work because he will want to change for it to work. And I don't think he wants to change, but I will hold off. We'll see what happens in the following episodes. If he tells Tori to leave Cobra Kai, then I'll give Chris another chance. Because if he actually cared about her and her safety, he would not have asked her to do what she's doing in the first place. Especially after he found out that Daniel got beaten, he would have just told her, leave, it's not worth it. So if he tells Tori to leave Cobra Kai and get help from the Lou Russos, I will give Kreese another look. When it comes to Daniel's resistance at the beginning of the episode, it makes sense. I get that he's worried about himself, his family, and the kids, but it also kind of annoyed me. You did not stop when Terry warned you to stop, but you do when he literally tells you that I'm going to come after you and everybody. He told you that he wasn't going to stop. So why would you stop? Especially now that everyone is on your side, you want to back off. He's making dumb decisions. He's like hot and cold and it's annoying and ridiculous to me. The scenes about Mr. Miyagi were wonderful and always heartbreaking, but Robbie finally talking to Daniel was so sweet and touching. I loved it. Robbie is a perfect person to use in that situation. Him calling Daniel sensei again was great. Great scenes. I am glad that we're united and we're on the same page now, but I'm hoping that Amanda is the one in charge. Daniel, Chosen, and Johnny are all hotheads, and I have not seen much strategy from them. And also, force is not what you need in this situation. It's not going to work against Terry and his henchmen, okay? Also, Amanda can bring in Tori, which they're going to need. I still don't know what Terry's plans are. <laughs> I feel like he's setting up 
crease again for something and Tori is a part of that. Either he thinks that he can turn Tori against Crease or use her to bring down Crease. I also think that the therapist <laughs> might be one of his spies in the prison. Her input is extremely important when it comes to Crease, and she could make things worse for him. She could literally ruin his life and keep him in there forever. Or maybe Terry is trying to get into his head. Either way, she might be on his payroll. I don't trust her. Things are ramping up and Terry's senseis look like they came out of a video game. They're literal henchmen. I am looking forward to the next episodes and I am ready for the shenanigans. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I hope you have a good one and you'll see me later. Bye!